What is up guys, it is Epsilon Gaming here, and I am back with another how to make a Minecraft plugin tutorial. This video I'll be showing you guys about item stacks, which is basically just an item, how to customize them, and how to give them to players. So, I'm no longer going to be showing you guys how to get or make a main class, because you should know. But if you don't, just feel free to go back and watch my last few videos. So, let's start. So, let's extend java plugin from the main which is still the same and import java plugin now let's do our public void on enable bucket dot get server dot get logger dot info let's just call it inventories is enabled now that we have that, let's start our actual plugin. What I'm going to be doing in this plugin is basically just making a kit command. So when the player types a command, it'll add whatever item we made or items into his inventory. So let's do public boolean on command. Now command sender would be sender. Command would be cmd string would be command label and string would be args this is still the same from the last video so I'm kinda going quick through it but I'll slow down once we get to the new stuff so let's return that false import those and continue so now let's get started with the command so if cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case Let's just name it kit. Now, with this, what we could do, if you want to make multiple kits, it would be if cmd.getName, that's the same, but you add an if args zero dot equals ignore case or equals, then whatever you want the kit to be, and inside those brackets would be what they would get or what would happen if they type slash kit then whatever. So arg0 would be whatever they type right after slash kit. So let's just for an example say it would be kit stone if they type slash kit stone, stone would be arg0 and it would run whatever we had if arg0 equals stone. But we're not going to be doing that in this video, I'm just going to be teaching you guys about item stacks. So let's get started with the item stack. So let's type item stack and then the name of the item stack. So let's just give them a diamond sword. So Let's just call it dsword. It could be whatever you'd like. dsword is just the easiest. Equals new item stack open parentheses. Now in here we're going to be doing the material and the amount. So we would type material dot and it gives you a whole list. We're going to do diamond sword for now. Make sure it's in caps or else it'll give you a little bit of an error. And that. So let's import item stack. Make sure you import inventory item stack, not Minecraft server 1.8 R1 item stack. So now after we type material diamond sword, type a comma, and then the amount you'd like to give them. Let's just give them one for now, because it's just a diamond sword. And that is it, if you just wanted to give them a diamond sword. But... Since we want to get a little creative with it, we want to give the diamond sword a name and an enchantment. So for the enchantment, we would just do D sword. Now we're calling the item stack dot add enchantment. Open parentheses enchantment dot. Let's just give it sharpness, which would be damage all, comma five sharp five diamond sword, and continue from there. So now the diamond sword has sharp 5, but we also want to give it a name. So what you want to do is type item meta, then the meta name. For this, we'll just do D sword meta. You can name it whatever you'd like, but that seems the easiest for now. Equals D sword dot get item meta. And what that does is it gets the item stacks meta. Now to customize this, we would type D sword meta 
which is calling the new item made it dot set name or set display name and then parentheses or chat color dot red plus YouTube so what that is doing is that it's setting the item made as display name to YouTube so also if you want to add a lore this is a bit more complicated but I'll teach you guys just for reference but I'm only gonna do it on this item stack so pay close attention so it would be list it would be list then the arrow parentheses string and then name so it would be D sword lore equals new array list arrow parentheses string open and close parentheses and a semicolon now what this is saying is it is a new list so in a list it'll be like a and then another line will be like whatever you'd like it to say and then so we'll actually have to make the list so it would be d sword lore dot and for some reason that's not importing so let me close my main and just try to reopen it alright so import all those and now that we have that let's type d sword lore dot add now what this is doing is it's adding a lore or a line to the list so let's just type lore line one just for an example and let's add a second lore which should be desword lore dot add subscribe sub to my YouTube so now what this is saying is line one is lore line one and lore two or line two is sub to my YouTube it can be whatever you'd like or as long as you'd like and that is it so what we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to set the lore to the item meta so we're gonna have to type desword meta dot set lore and then it would be d sword lore close your line and now what that is doing it's setting the lore to the item meta that we made now what we have to do is set the item meta to the actual item stack so it would be d sword dot set item meta d sword meta and it's simple as that so let's just do a quick overview we set the item stack, we set the enchantments, then we make an item meta and set the display name, and then we make a new list and set whatever we would like to the list, then we set the list to the meta, then the meta to the item. It's pretty simple once you get used to it, but it takes a little bit. So let's just make a few more items and get started or test it out. So let's type item stack, let's just say apple equals new item stack material dot apple comma five. So what this did is we just made an item stack that is five apples. If you want to set a display name for it, it would be you would have to make a new item meta, which in this case I will do. So it'll be item meta apple meta equals apple dot get item meta and make a new line now if we want to set a display name we have to set it to apple meta so let's just do apple meta dot set display name and let's just do chat color dot green plus apples actually let's make it unique and let's just name it green apples just for the video now what we'll do is we have to set apple, which is the item stack that set item meta, apple meta. And what this does is it just sets the name to the item stack. Now let's also give them a iron pickaxe and let's get started. So item stack iron pick equals new item stack material dot iron pickaxe. I'm a one and for this one I taught you guys how to set the name so this is just gonna be a normal iron pickaxe so let's 
So now, we have these three item stacks to find. Now, what do we do with them? So what I was going to do with this command is, if command equals kit, if sender instance of player, and open that up. So now if a player sends the message, and it slash kit, whatever in here is what will happen. So let's get the player. So player p equals player sender. Now let's import those and continue. So my Eclipse is being a bit buggy today, so I'm just going to close this main and reopen it. So player is not importing, so let's just import that real quick, and there we go. So now that we have the player, what we can do is add the item stacks to the player's inventory by typing p.getInventory dot add item so now it's asking for the item stack we would like to add so let's type dsword and close the line now what this is doing is it's getting whatever we type for dsword and it'll add it to the inventory let's do it with the other two items apple and p dot get inventory dot add item iron pick and that is it for that, but let's also update the inventory. So p.update inventory, and that is it. Now, I taught you guys how to use them in commands, but since it's a pretty short video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to also use them in events. So let's save this. Let's check the error in the imports. So now, in the event, so let's type at event handler, public, void, let's just say click, so the player interact event e. So what this is doing is, that's just the name of the event click, and then player interact event is when a player punches or clicks his mouse, and e is calling the event, and let's open a new bracket. So now let's type e dot, actually let's get the player who clicks, so player p equals event, which is e dot get player. Now that we have the player, let's say if the item in the player's hand is the diamond sword and he clicks with it, let's let make something happen. So let's just copy this from up here and paste this down here and let's save it. So now let's type if p dot get item in hand dot equals and now you could do a material here but for this let's do d sword. So if he's holding a diamond sword he got from the kit and he swings with it let's do something. So let's p dot what should we do to him? Let's make it a little troll and clear his inventory. So p dot get inventory dot clear, and then p dot update inventory. So if he swings a diamond sword that he got from the kit, it'll clear his whole inventory. So now since we did that, we have to register the event. So bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. this comma this and since we have an event in this class we have to implement and from here now that we have that done and everything should be alright let's close that and just import well, let main implement listener so we just have to import listener it should be alright so let's close that and make the plugin.yml in the src file, new file, plugin.yml. So 
So for the commands, I'll just start from the bottom. It'll be kit. The author would be your name. The main would be whatever you name the package and the class. 1.0, I'll just name it inventory. Sorry for my Eclipse being so buggy and crashing and not importing all the things that need to be imported, but hopefully the video will still turn out alright. So now that we've done that, let's export that and let's test it out. So, let's name it, export it, name it inventories. And now let's test it. So let's drag it into our plugins folder. Reload the server. It's a respawn since I died. And let's type slash kit. We type slash kit and look what we got. We got a sharp five diamond sword name YouTube. Lore line one and lore two is subbed to my YouTube. We got some green apples and a iron pickaxe. So now let's click with that, and it cleared our inventory. Works perfectly fine. So hopefully my clips being a little bit buggy doesn't interfere with anyone's process. It shouldn't. But since it all works, thank you guys. If you have any suggestions or requests, please comment them. If you like the video and want more, please comment and like and subscribe. Thank you guys.